As I'm sure many of you know, football cards are expensive. But they can be at least if you buy hobby boxes. So what I'm trying to do is buy the cheapest hobby box I can find on eBay. Uh, the rules are it has to say hobby on the box. This one is stamped hobby. Pacific something sealed, factory sealed hobby. 1999 Aurora. I remember these cards from when I was a kid. They look cool. I paid about 70 bucks for this. I think $70.26. Bought it on auction. And uh, if I were to buy this at like an online card store that had old boxes in stock, it probably cost about twice that. Maybe maybe 120 bucks. Um, I got it because there are autographs in here. They're very rare. I'm probably not going to get one. But there's just a lot of cool parallels. Um, it's from an era that I remember, you know, watching football being a kid. So uh, it'd be cool to get that card. That's the, some of the autographs. There's 200 Terrell Owens autograph cards, which is, I mean, to get one of those would be insane. I didn't see any sold on eBay in the past 90 days, so they are probably pretty rare. Um... I'm just going to open it up now and get into it. These cards, I th think they had a gloss, a glossy finish. So they might be stuck together, which is going to be, maybe I wasted 70 bucks. Oh, no. Prism. Man, those are cool. Three serial numbered parallels holographic gold, holographic mirror, holographic blue. Kind of, it's a little marketing insert. Let's hold on to that. And then this is Dear Pacific Customer. Thank you for purchasing the 1999 Aurora Football with 200 randomly inserted Terrell Owens autographs. And the <laughs> loaded with in the box value. Omega Football comes out October 13th. That, that'd be a cool one to get next. I wonder how much that goes for. 99 Omega. So this, yeah, I don't think this was meant to be sold. I mean, I'm sure it could have been sold at at, uh, at stores. It also says Hobby Box right there. So I, I guess that these were, I don't know how, how these were distributed. If they were mail order, I guess this would have been like the very early days of the internet. Or if these are card shows or events or, or you know local card shops the local card shop I went to was in Grand Blanc Michigan I think it was called Ziggler's when I was a little kid I mean not little but like yeah little kid before like third grade I'd go there my mom would buy me like Skybox 91 cards okay let's look at these we're, we're gonna open up all these boxes or all these um packs too p.s six cards per pack how many packs are in the box does it say on the outside 24 count 24 times six so we're looking at 144 cards is that right three pacific points gotta save these <laughs> Email PR staff at Pacific Trading Cards dot com or Pacific TC at AOL dot com. <laughs> oh man. That's so funny. I'm gonna email them both and try and trade in my Pacific points. I've got <laughs> I've got seventy five Pacific points. This is the, there it is again, the rundown of what I can get. I, I like when they do this. 
feel like cards today, they don't even come close to that. Just top still. Football cards really don't. Don't stick together. Oh, God. I can feel they're already sticking. Moosin Muhammad out of Michigan State. Oh, no. They're not. Natrone Means. Nice. These cards look so cool. They're kind of sticky. Uh, so, this year, rookies, now that we got a Tim Couch rookie, which, I mean, that probably would have been a great card to pull <laughs> 20, 25 years ago. Uh, this is one of the parallels. The stripes. Mark Brunel and a Tim Couch rookie. Tim Couch. Famously goes first overall to the Browns in 1999. Their uh, their first year as a franchise. I mean the Brown. You know what I'm saying. Their first year as the Browns as we know them today. So I guess they don't tell you what the likelihood of that stripe is. That's I, I mean it's I looked at online before I um opened these up and the stripe cards do go for a premium yeah, but it doesn't really say it doesn't say what that what that's called maybe it's like a one per pack thing it's not numbered it's just striped Mark Brunel the great thing about opening up these old hobby packs or hobby boxes, or any, any box for that matter, is the cards are always in really good condition. It's not like buying uh, someone's old collection where the edges are all dinged up and you get a great card and it's in terrible condition. Robert Brooks. Yeah, it must be, oh, Steve Young. It must be one per pack. Steve Young striped. Terry Glenn. Man, I'm getting a nostalgia burst. Back wow, that's weird. Two Terry Glenns in the same pack. And then what is Lamar Thompson? Thomas. JJ Stokes. Man. You guys remember JJ Stokes? Work done. <laughs> Tavian Banks. So here's a numbered card. Troy Edwards, nice. 65 out of 77. Digitally printed, the, the, the parallel. Troy Edwards. Went on to have a pretty decent career. Played for a long time, at least. Out of 77. That's cool. Our work done is our stripe on there. And then... I mean, I, I just got done saying how, how nice it is to get cards that are new out of the package because they're not dinged up. And then this McNabb rookie... Soft corner. McNabb rookie is a nice card too. And Dan Marino. And Jaquez Green. I feel like he was always really fast in Madden games. Michael Cloud. Never heard of him. Played for the Chiefs, apparently. Brett Favre. Brett Favre. Michael Westbrook. Skip Hicks. T.O. Not autographed. 
and then Jake Plummer. Jake the Snake. Jeff Blake. I had his jersey growing up. So my name is Blake. Ooh, our first insert. I don't know who this is. Maybe it's just the base Terrell Owen or uh, Terrell Davis. Looks really cool. Drew Bledsoe. Charlie Batch, nice. I'm a Lions fan. Jeff Graham. Joey Galloway. Joey Galloway was another good player. Cowboys and Seahawks, right? Probably some other teams in there too that I can't. I can't recall. Deion Sanders on back. That's my striped card, probably. Cool. I wonder how Dion cards are doing. Adrian Murrell. Ricky Waters, another great player. Yancey Figpen. Terrell Davis. James Johnson. So there's two T.O. cards. Or, sorry, Terrell Davis cards. 46 and I think 5 was the first one. But it's not like labeled as any, it's not a, a parallel or anything. Just a, a variant, I guess. Michael Jackson. That looks cool, that purple. Rookie. Who is this? Edger and James. Nice. Probably the one of the best rookies to pull from this year. Edrin James and Cade McNown. Man, would have been a good pack back in the day. Cade McNown didn't do... And an Akili Smith. Jeez. This pack is loaded. Absolutely loaded. <laughs> wow. Four rookies. Three quarterbacks. None of them really did much. Herman Moore, nice. That's a cool card. Uh oh. Styrotex. Dang. That's a thick feeling card. Troy Aikman. That's awesome. What is this? What's how rare are these to get? How rare are Styrotex? One in 25. So one, I, you get one Styrotech per box on average. And mine happened to be a Troy Aikman. So that's pretty cool. That might have been, might be worth a couple bucks. I don't know. Priest Holmes, Ben Coates, Doug Flutie. And Antoine Smith. Maybe I'll send that card in to get graded. That'd be a fun extension of this series. I mean, if you're buying them new, you might as well try and capitalize on the value, right? Carl Pickens. Chad Brown. Marshall Falk. Great, great player. Out of San Diego State. Isaac Bruce, another great player. Randall Cunningham. And then Tim Brown. Tori Holt on back. Michael Irvin on front. 
Ryan Leaf. Ooh. Ay, 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 Ryan Leaf. I guess he turned it around, right? They test Verity, Natrone Means, Shannon Sharp, and Tory Holt, rookie. I didn't know Tory Holt was rookie in 99. I thought that he was older than that for some reason. So, Edrin James and Tory Holt are two solid rookie pulls so far. So is the McNabb, I think. I don't know if people still collect McNabb. He kind of fell off. Got that DUI. Robert Brooks. Sean King, another rookie. I think he went to Tulane. Another McNabb rookie. Out of Syracuse. He's in better shape. JJ Stokes, Mark Brunel. Oh, this one has two. This, this pack had two stripes. Mike Allstott, which is a cool card. And McNabb. We're both in that pack. Cool. What fun. What a, what a way to spend a Wednesday morning. It's 6 a.m. on a Wednesday morning right now. I'm filming this before I have to do other work. Rod Smith. Amos Jerome. Never heard of this guy. Running back, apparently. Robert... Smith on back. John Kitna, Stripe. Brock, is it? I think it's pronounced Heward. And a Randy Moss. Nice. I don't know how it's pronounced. It's one of those names that I never heard being said growing up. I only ever saw it on Madden. So I just assumed it was Heward. I didn't really watch college football growing up. Besides, like, Michigan State. And uh, he did not go to Michigan State. I think he was like a in the South guy. Does it say their college on back? UW. So he was from Washington, not in the South. He was not. I mean, I guess Washington is now a Big Ten school, but back in back in the day, it was not a Big Ten school. Probably Pac-10, right? I don't know. <clears throat> Another Randy Cunningham. Michael Cloud. Never heard of him. Went to Boston College. Probably a tight end. Nope. Running back. Hmm. Whoa. Oh, man. But look at the... Dang. It's already dinged up. Fred Taylor... Uh, this is called, like, a uh, leather something, or, uh, leather bound. Two per pack, and my first one is in just garbage condition. I mean, it's, like, peeling. I mean, what do I, what do you expect, right? It's 25 years old. Dang. Well, this is what it is. Keyshawn Johnson, sick. Dante Culpepper, nice. UCF, right? You go to UCF? Yeah, Central Florida. Antonio Freeman, Keyshawn Johnson, Randall Cunningham. Another good pack, except for that. Terrible condition. Insert. Boo. Chris Chandler, Troy Aikman, like 1 through 10 or something, 1 through 5 must be this special, special variant, variant isn't the right word, but it's just a different card design for the player, Emmett Smith, OJ McDuffie, Ricky Williams, nice, and Corey Dillon, nice. Randy Moss is our stripe this time. Sick. Oh, there's our second. Uh, Jerry Rice. And it's not completely destroyed. Nice. There's a little bit of a 
booger on bottom. Probably just, yeah, I, I'll figure out how to, how to handle that later. Cool though. Out of the two cars, I'd much rather have the Fred Taylor be screwed up than the wet that one. Jerome Bettis, Adrian Morrell, Shannon Sharp, Club Shay Shay. Jermaine Levis, Emmett Smith. Does this say what that? Remember that that parallel I got the rookie debuts. Does it say what those are? One twenty-five, premier date parallel right there. So that's the one I got for that pack. I forget who it was. Kevin Falk, Corey Dillon, O.J. McDuffie, Eric Molds. Kind of running out of good cards you can have left, so we're probably going to pull. Mm, I wonder if those are championship fever cards. They don't say it, but the, the like the different design. One through twenty might be championship fever. Yeah, if we get anything else, it's gonna be a pretty big hit, I think. So there's a Barry Sanders. That's good. Uh, oh, it's a striped too. Striped Barry Sanders. Brad Johnson. So Jamal Anderson. Huh. Not. That's number six. But it's not the same design as the other cards that were four and five. So I don't know. Brad Johnson. Tiki Barber. Troy Aikman. Bruce Smith. Cool. The great Bruce Smith. <clears throat> Wesley Walls. Peyton Manning. <laughs> Look at him. Fred Taylor. Another Sean King rookie. Eddie George. Diedrich Ward. Sean King. Eric Kramer, Antonio Freeman, Robert Smith, Charles Woodson, that's a cool card, John Kitna, forgot about Charles Woodson on the Raiders, Isaac Bruce. Terry Kirby, Jeff Graham, another Tory Holt rookie, Chris Carter, Vinny Testaverde. These last three packs could have a huge hit in them, because I don't think it's anything else. Christian McCaffrey's dad. Ricky Williams, 14, I don't know, I don't know, I think this is the championship one, but I don't know, it says you get four pack, and I've gotten three of them so far, that's the only reason why I think that, Tim Brown, Ryan Leaf, Keyshawn Johnson, Marshall Falk. Dorsey Levins, Eddie George, Jerome Bettis, Diedrich Ward, Drew Bledsoe, Chad Brown. The bus. Two packs left. Keenan McCardle, 
Joey Galloway, Jerry Rice, cool. Sean King again, Fred Taylor, Tiki Barber. So none of them are sticking together. Some of the cards are were just destroyed beyond, well, not beyond comprehension, but beyond like great ability. There must be like moisture trapped in some of those cards. I don't know. Elvis Gerbach out of Michigan. Mike Allstott. Jamal Anderson. Brad Johnson. Another Barry. And a Kevin Falk rookie. So there you go. What do you think? Worth it? I had fun. I'll try and sell these cards. Probably I'll pull out a few of the ones. I mean, I pulled out. <laughs> these are all the ones that I liked. You know, quote unquote. So I'll have to go through this set again and figure out what ones I want to keep. And then I'll just sell the rest and maybe get back like 20 bucks. Who knows? Maybe this video will help pay for my next hobby box. If you want to see me open up more cheap hobby boxes I buy on eBay, subscribe. I'll see you guys later.